Welcome to Search for Signs. My name is Gary Willing. We have over 300 videos where we talk about the emergence of Maitreya and the Masters of Wisdom. Through the course of these videos, we take a deeper look at who and what Maitreya is, who and what the Masters are, and why they are returning now to the everyday world during this historical time. We also look at the many miracle signs that have been going on for decades all around the world and in all walks of life, and we discuss the inner meaning of what they might mean. Do they mean that the one awaited by all the world's religions, the teacher, the world teacher, Maitreya, is already here? Each religion is awaiting a teacher. The Christians are awaiting the Christ. The Muslims are awaiting the Imam Mahdi. The Buddhists are awaiting the fifth Buddha. The Jews are awaiting the Messiah. And the Hindus are awaiting the Kalki Avatar. Little did they know it that the teacher is one and the same and has already fulfilled his promise and has returned to the everyday world. According to Benjamin Krem, Maitreya, the world teacher, has been speaking on TV to millions of people all over the world for the last decade. Now you might be asking yourself, why haven't you ever seen Maitreya, the one awaited by all the world's religions on TV? Well, Maitreya is not declaring himself as the Christ or the Mamakti. He's only presenting himself on TV as an ordinary person who is deeply concerned about the problems of humanity and the simple solutions to solving those ever-growing problems. We also talk about Maitreya's priorities. What is Maitreya's biggest priority for humanity at this time? Well, Maitreya would say that humanity must, above anything else, create true and lasting peace. Of course, if you watch TV, you live a life, you see all the violence, all the social unrest, you see the political and economic divisions, the selfishness and the greed, and you must ask yourself, there's no way that we could ever create peace. How could we ever create peace? Maitreya says, we should not look at peace as a utopian idea. We should look at it as our very survival depends upon it because it does. Now, Maitreya's path to peace is quite simple, so simple even a child could understand it. Without sharing, there could be no justice. Without justice, there could be no peace. Without peace, there could be no future for humanity. The principle of sharing will be done on a national and an international level amongst nations. Initially, each nation will make a inventory of all its excesses that it doesn't use within that year that is oftentimes just sitting and wasting and going bad. And it will also make an inventory of what it needs. And according to the masters, each nation has at least one excess to give, but of course needs that it must, you know, have. Well, under the inspiration of these masters, humanity will start the, the principle of sharing. And each nation will start to give that excesses that they have freely to other nations. And then other nations can pull from that and use what it needs and give back in, in payment the excesses that they create. This little principle of sharing was done 75 or so years ago, right after World War II, in a very, very small amount of time. And the effects of it were astounding. But the United States, under the inspiration of the then Secretary of State, George C. Marshall, instituted the Marshall Plan, where we, the United States gave their excesses to Western Europe to help rebuild the countries after World War I and World War II. It was astoundingly successful because it not only rebuilt those nations, it helped to boost the economies of, of the United States and Western Europe. But if you look decades after it took place, and it only took place for a very tiny little bit of time. The United States has more of a peaceful, trusting relationship with those nations than it does with any other nations on the planet. So, Jesus once said, a tree is known by its fruit, right? Well, the fruit of the tree of war is violence, bloodshed, suffering, unbelievable expense. Well, the fruit of the tree of sharing is peace is trust. So these videos, it's not so important that you look at the religious ramifications of why Maitreya has returned, but it's more important to look at his priorities. 
and what it means for humanity as a whole, the religious and the non-religious. And every single time that these videos are put out there, it's put out there for your consideration and your consideration only. But we do invite you to check out as many videos you like, stay as long as you want, come and go as you please. But thank you so much for your time, and I hope you have a great day. Remember to take action and help SOP save our planet. Thanks for listening, and we look forward to talking to you again in future videos. Thank you.